Hello students, in this video we will see a very interesting problems and typical problem related to trigonometry. Problem is we have to show quad x not x quad 5 by 24 is equal to root 2 plus root 3 plus root 4 plus root 6. Okay. To prove this, first of all, we should take left hand side. In left hand side, we will have quad y upon 24. Okay. Quad y upon 24 may be seen as cos. 5 by 24 upon sine 5 by 24. Here we will multiply in numerators and denominator by 2 cos 5 by 24 like this. 2 cos 5 by 24. When we will arrange, then it will become to 2 cos 5 by 24 into cos 5 by 24. In denominator, you will have 2 sine 5 by 24 into cos 5 by 24. Here. here, this this 2 cos 5 by 4 into cos 5 by 24 may be written as 2 cos square 5 upon 24. In this side 2 sine cos a means sine 2 a. So, in denominator, it may be written as sine 2 in place of a. 5 by 24. So finally you will have 2 cos square 5 upon 24 upon sine 5 by 12. Okay. Now see the next step that is 2 cos square 5 by 24. It may be written as by using the identity is 1 plus cos 5 by 12. In denominator also you have sine 5 by 12. Okay. Now see the further steps. See the further steps. Maybe it is like 1 plus cos. Cos 5 by 12 may be written as cos 5 by 4 minus 5 by 6. In denominator, apply same procedure sine 5 by 4 minus 5 by 6. Here we have to use some identities like this. This is the cos A minus cos B. It means cos A cos B plus sin A sin B. In place of B you will have 5 by 6. In denominator we have to use sin A minus B identities. Then we will have sin A means sin 5 by 4, cos B cos 5 by 6 minus cos 5 by 4 and sin 5 by 6. Put these values here, 1 plus cos 5 by 4 means cos 45 that is 1 upon root 2, 
cos 5 by 6 means cos 13, cos 13 is equal to root 3 by 2. We have sin 5 by 4, 1 by root 2. Sin 13 means 1 by 2. In denominator, sin 5 by 4, 1 by root 2. Cos 13, cos 13 is root 3 by 2. Cos 5 by 4 again 1 by root 2. Sin 30 that is 1 by 2. Then we will simplify this step. Then we will have 2 root 2 plus root 3 plus 1 upon root 3 minus Multiplying numerator and denominator by the conjugate of root 3 minus 1, that is root 3 plus 1 upon root 3 plus 1. Okay. <coughs> now see what the rest is. Then we will elaborate. We will have 2 root 6 plus 2 root 2 plus 3 plus root 3 plus root 3 plus 1. And in denominator, simply we will have 3 minus 1. See this. When we multiply 2 root 2 with 3, then we will have 2 root 6. Similarly, 2 root 2 multiplied by 1, then we will have 2 root 2, and finally, 2 root 2 multiplied by 1, we will, we will have only, this is the product of 2 root 2 by this, and this again root 3, 3, and root 3, again 1, in the denominator also, finally, you will have, in numerator, 2 root 6, plus 2 root 2, plus 2 root 3, plus 4, upon 2. See, take 2 common from these steps. So, inside the bracket, we will have root 6, this is root 2, this is root 3, and this is only 2. And denominator, we will have 2. So, this 2 and this 2 will be divided. Finally, you will have root 6 plus root 2 plus root 3 plus root 2. This root 2 may be written as this is not root 2. This is only 2. So, this 2 may be written as under root 4. This is our right hand side. This way we may prove the value of cos by y24 is equal to root 2 root 3 plus root 6 plus root 6 and so on. Okay.